Hello, and welcome to Keela Reads Poetry. Hope you enjoy. 1980. I wish that I were free to go. Measuring the waves, I sit on the shore and watch the sea roll by. Going nowhere, but going still, I watch a seagull fly. The water calls me, come. The silver tide calls me away. I wish that I were free to go, but I am bound to stay. Without goodbye. You say hello with a casual grace, no smile or frown upon your face, no twinkle or teardrop in your eye. You turn and leave without goodbye. For all's been said and all is done. No time for me, no, I'm no one. No tear you shed, it's I who cry. You leave and go without goodbye. November 9th, 1982. I can't lie. Madness comes after midnight with sadness. Why so? Do I cry as I do at night over you to let go? I can't give up now. I don't even know how. Shall I learn? Oh, give me a chance to make one last stance, for I burn. And the fire I feel, a desire too real. I can't lie. Can't you see that I've bled and I'm nearly half dead? I shall die with my heart in my hand, my very last stand before you, begging you please, while I'm weak in the knees, dreaming the words I do. December 1980, these things remind me. The day is deep reflected in the color of your eyes, gray and like a shadow that can dancing hypnotize. The ripples in the waters are reflected in your smile, coming gently on and flowing with no thought of guile. The playful breeze shaking leaves is like your cheerful laughter, falling softly on my ears, happily ever after. And the caressing of the gentle rain reminds me of your touch, all the tender warmth you give, and of how I love you, and how much. June 10th, 1980. This one's about heartbreak until my heart lies still. Until my heart lies still. Please don't say you never loved me. Please don't say you never will. Let me go on with my dreaming until my heart lies still. Never let me hear you utter those dread words to break my heart. Please don't say you never loved me, even though we're far apart. For even though you never loved me, even though you never will, I at least will have my dreaming until my heart lies still. How can I go on? 1980. Man of my dreams, where are you now? Night on white charger, please tell me how. How can I go on without dreams to chase? What are the stars now, and where is their grace? And how can the sun shine when all hope has fled? How can I go on while my dreams lie dead? November 27, 1983, as heaven cries. Again, the heavy winter rain is falling, large cold drops from heaven's eyes, heartfelt teardrops from high heaven, and the wind, she moans, as heaven cries. She mourns the loss of love on earth, man's insincerity, hate, and greed, lust, obscenity, and unfaithfulness, when love is what they need. How could they be so unfeeling, cruel, so indifferent, so ruthless and wild? How could they forget the father who loved them, and how could he chasten his child? So much is amiss, so many have strayed. So much is forgotten and hell waits below. They're the lost and lonely, not seeking the light, not knowing, nor seeking to know. Actually, I think oftentimes we make our own hell right here on earth through unkindness. March 3rd, 1982, you must believe. If I were to profess my love for you now, you would not believe me, for there is no more passion in my voice. It's your choice if you wish to leave me. I will not say you are restless as the wind or as inconsistent as the sea, for I know you need more than I alone can give you. But this you must believe. I will grieve your parting as a terrible loss, and I will moan to myself in silence on my part.
for losing you, as I know I've lost you. I have also lost my heart. Can't tell you how many times I lost my heart. Funny though, after the pain and the heartbreak, I guess some people just never learn because I always love again. 1981, walk with me, the storm is set. Walk with me along the seashore, by my side, and hold my hand. We have no guarantees for tomorrow, and I ask you, not demand. I won't ask you for tomorrow, for it's something you can't give. I only ask you walk by me, to help me face the wind. The storm is set for breaking, and my heart is breaking too. I need your touch to face it, and yet I ask too much of you. So I will just imagine that by my side is where you are then the way might not be as lonely or the distance quite as far. June 8th, 1981. This one is called We Never. I never knew you, though I wanted to. We never talked, love never grew. We never touched or walked together. We never spoke, we never. I tried not to see ahead too far, but it seems that that is where you are. I tried to listen and to understand, but I was afraid to extend a hand. We never talked or walked together. We never touched or knew. We never. Sometimes it's really hard to tell somebody else how much they've come to mean to you because the rejection or the fear of the rejection is too painful. But then you never know what might have been. July 15, 1981. It was a plea, living in the past. All I've ever asked of you was that you hold my hand, and even then it was a plea and never a demand. So much I needed a little warmth, a little common care, that I was humble enough to beg for what you had to share. Just to look, if not to touch, would maybe have been enough. But now I cannot even see the object of my love. I cannot hear that longed-for voice or touch an image cast. So now I'm blind and deaf and numb and living in the past. 1980, love's almost lost. Time is a fight and life just might be dying. Today there's no way to do it or say it, so we're crying. Love's almost lost while we're counting the cost because we're buying. Love's almost lost and we'll pay the cost, we'll be crying. Time is a fight and life just might be dying. I know there's no way to do it or say it, but I'm trying. There must be a way. Should I bow? Should I pray? Let's stop crying. Untitled 1980. Elegance, the frothy mare, cream-like flows across the sky, silvered hooves, dappling air, dainty head held high. Perfect grace in every movement, queen-like in her royalty is the mount of fairy princesses with more spirit than the sea. Stirring up the evening rustling with a playful toss of head, she shows the breeze so like herself she is not easy led. Such a lovely piece of dreaming is this cloud-like elegance. I wish you were here to see her and to watch the fairies dance. Suicide, January 30, 1981. I wrote this because a young man that I'd gone to school with, um, I heard he committed suicide over the loss of love. Um, his girlfriend broke up with him. He couldn't handle it, so he went to a parking lot with a shotgun and blew his brains out. He was a kind young man, and it was such a waste of life. Suicide. There was a bullet in his brain. I could hear its ringing plain screaming like his mind tormented for a hand never extended coward fool or what you may he could find no other way the shame is that we never heard we never saw our vision blurred and though we call him coward fool to his hell we added fuel we wouldn't listen to his cry he had no choice but suicide i think there's usually a choice but sometimes maybe the pain is too too sharp for them to bear. And that's really sad. January 19th, 1981. Remove this evil curse. 
Make the hands of time run backwards. Make the storm's gray clouds disperse. Make the world a little younger and remove this evil curse. Bring back grandeur and the glory of a time that was before, when chivalry and honor were the highest held in store, when knights in shining armor rescued maidens in distress, and love bloomed from the thankful into years of happiness. You may see some kitties come and go <clears throat> from time to time. I did mention I like cats. 1980, Lest You Be a Poet. I see the willow swaying, her long hair hanging down, to hide her teardrop streaming, as the breeze will hide the sound. I see the silver moonlight, and watch the moon as she sails, back into black shadows, on silver starry trails. Can you see that willow? Does her weeping show? And now, where has the moon gone? I'm sure you cannot know. Unless you walk on moonbeams, and float where shadows are, then lest you be a poet, then surely, you're a star. December 15, 1980, also untitled. The sparkling of shallow streams is oft reflected in my dreams. While deepness holds a murky look, it is not so of babbling brook. Its beauty seems like honesty, and one that seems to promise me. Yet nothing lies beneath the wave. It has no soul, which you can save. But the deepness of a tranquil lake is like a soul not yet awake. Silver glitter on the waters, sprinkled there by stars and sun. Silver stardust dancing gaily, such a lovely, happy one. Sprinkled down from up in heaven on the waters of the earth. Nothing man has ever made here can compare your sparkling mirth. I used to like to walk in the woods a lot as a child and be alone in nature. Take my shoes off, walk in the spring, watch the way the sunlight danced on the water, the way the water flowed over the rocks. February 27th, 1981. This one's called The Pain You've Caused, and I had a book that had a list of very archaic words in it, and I thought, I want to use those in a poem. So I did. The stars are eons old, yet still a glitter, the taste of honey sweet and brimstone bitter. The born of man cannot be reached, nor our ocean life live when it's beached, and baseness is an auger often bared, no deference at all for those who cared. That black cat is an auspice at your door, but you don't seem to care much anymore. You've made too many promises you can't keep, and the pain you've caused will not dissolve, should you chance to weep. November 9th, 1982. I'd almost considered I'm mad. I'm tired and would like to sleep, but my dreams are no more, so I weep. I am left with naught to dream of. Tomorrow is gone, so is love. All that's left is a yesterday dream that scoffs at today. Do I seem a bit deranged or strange at this time? It's just I don't know what's my crime. For I told you that dead is alone. Turn my head, now I find you are gone. And I do, but I ask, who am I? And what reason do I have to cry? When all the world's wounds are so deep, why for myself do I weep? And I'd almost considered I'm mad, but more so unreasonably sad have I grown. I so detest being alone. I'm alone. May 1st, 1981, in time I'll forget. The dome of the heavens will be the roof of the house I live in, and the twinkling stars will brighten up my night. Peace will be the blanket wrapped around me, and I'll find joy in sense and sound and sight. And nature shall provide for me a lover. The silk and satin smoothness of a stream will caress me gently or the breezing, and the moonlit sky will fill each of my dreams. And I'll be content without you, and in time, I will forget. No, I never really forgot. However, 
I did love again. And again, and again, and again. <laughs> Gotta laugh at myself, what can I say? 1980, do you give in to your burden? When you've lost your way, when the wind blows cold, when your load is too heavy and you start growing old, when you don't know where to turn and sorrows weigh you down, do you give in to your burden or do you play the clown? Do you cry out that you're weary or do you give a sunny smile? Do your footsteps still move forward though you've traveled many miles? Can you carry on the burden? Can you risk a brand new start? Can you keep up all this acting? Still smile with a broken heart. It's not easy, but we can. 1980, fairy child. To ride on a white cloud and dance on a star. To strain your eyes to see that far. To tie the rainbow into your hair and live in a flower only you would dare. To sing to the moonbeams and play with the sun and across the sky to gracefully run and grasp all your dreams in one golden hand. My heart with them all at your command is all I would expect of a dream fairy child to be as he seemed to be, free and wild. October 25th, 1980, Child of the Sea. I saw you with your coming, a child sprung from the sea, and every wave caressed you, and each star longed to be, just granted with the favor of a smile or playful kiss, for no one yet had told us of a beauty such as this. Your gentle eyes reflected an innocence unknown, and all the world that saw you claimed you as their own. For when you stood beside me, I thought that I could see a jewel more rare than any, the jewel of tranquility. Ruthless, 1980. Heart of granite, hand of steel, you rule your world with an iron will. You toss aside what you don't need and leave them there alone to bleed. You wear a mask, show no emotions, stomp and stamp romantic notions. Every move is cool, collected, till each secret lies dissected. No one else is allowed to live. You have no heart. You cannot give. You only reach and take again. No need to ask for if or when. No worries but to gratify. No thought of why or who must die. For all that serve you, serve you well. But will it matter while you burn in hell? January 3rd, 1981, my love waits for me. Sometimes lost in a memory, I stray far from reality. They say that it's insanity, but I know it's just remembering you. And sometimes when I'm dreaming, dear, things have a way of seeming clear. Once I dreamed that you were near, and still I loved you so. I know my love waits for me, for even when I think I'm lost or rampantly on seas I'm tossed, you are there and just across the sea, holding out your phantom hand to me. October 28, 1980. Caress me now, gentle breeze. Gentle breeze, caress me now, with your cool lips brush mine. For I am sad and lonely, and for lost love I pine. It's true I had a lover, if lover's what he was. I sought not any other, and never gave him cause. But something's wrong, I find it. I love him still, it's true. But he betrayed my heart and love, and left me to seek you. October 28, 1980, The Dream Unrealized. Shadows, just memories, are all that linger on. A dream unrealized, forgotten, a love affair bygone. The resonance of shattered peace, a calm after the storm. Deceptive in its quietude, deceptive in its form. Illusion dancing within reach, a hand tied to the side. And fear of the dream unrealized, what has or has not died. I think I studied a lot about astral projection. I read a lot of fairy tales. I had a lot of fairy tales dancing in my head. I've always been fascinated by things in realms unseen 
that coexist with our own. People say, don't believe anything unless you've seen it yourself. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can't always see everything with your eyes, some things you see with other senses. November 9th, 1982, we will meet in our dreams. Soon we will meet on that distant, close plane. Half will be pleasure and half will be pain. Do you believe me, my mysterious friend, that this is beginning and is not the end? So it is, take my hand. Shall we walk on the sand to the sea? Let us fly, never die, now we're free. Just believe in these words that I say. I'll return, I'll come back some strange day. When your thoughts have all saddened and dimmed, when reflectively they have turned in, with haunting dreams stemmed from depression, I'll come back. Will I hear that confession? Will you love me after this dream? Time will say, I can't stay. The day is too near. Soon this half dream must end. Hearts don't mend, they just seem. Here's a tear to remember me by. I shall cry till the day I return, and I'll burn, but I feel time will make this dream real. I will wait. Did you hear what I said? Love's a lie. It won't die. Is not dead. Crystal streams gleam in my mind's eye. Till then, we will meet in our dreams. Perhaps one day you'll know, November 9th, 1982. Now listen, and if you please, attend, my love, to the moaning breeze. I love you, he wishes, whispers on a hushabye sigh, and the pines cry back, this love won't die. While the creaking loneliness of careless mistakes signals the sound of this heart as it breaks, and silently flow grief's bitter tears, which seem to have fallen for too many years. Like the leaves of flagging autumn's decline, only pain and tears, these things are mine. Perhaps one day you'll know whose heart, at loss of love, grief's torn apart. I, who of you, still dream of, die from the loss, like a your love. Unrequited love can be very difficult. But as I said, I don't believe love is ever wasted. Even if it's not returned to you from the channel that you poured it into, eventually it'll come back to you someday. 1980. Where now can the answers be, and where did the sunshine go? It was here, or was it? It seems I used to know. I never used to question the rightness or the wrong. I never used to worry, and I never used to long. Things have changed so much since you have gone away. Time has left me more aware, but nothing much to say. And truthfully, I didn't say many of these things. I actually wrote them, poured them out on paper, and hid them where they were safe. Only shared them with people that I knew I could trust and that was only a few. Waking Nightmare 1980. Stop it, stop it, stop it! I'm screaming in my mind. Oh Lord, I can't be crazy. I know I'm not that blind. Familiarity often breeds contempt. I know myself too well. I now think life's not worth the fight and is much worse than hell. I'd gladly brave the fires if I could just leave behind the burning, screaming craziness that fills my heart and mind. My every dreaming, waking thought is not a thought at all, just screaming like a wounded beast. My mind is held in thrall, a captive to a craziness, a prisoner and a slave of my own waking nightmare from which I can't be saved. Ah, depression. Such a bitch. October 13th, 1983. Set me free. Set me free. I do not love you. Doesn't matter that that's not true. Just set me free. I hate this hanging. Let me for once be free of you. You were the thunder in my chest and the hot fire in my veins. You had the power to haunt my dreaming and my love for you remains. The love I professed so fervently in a tragic romantic youth. Above all else that still remains an everlasting truth. I gave my living heart to you. You laughed and tossed it back. Yet I still just cannot figure what is it that I lacked. It's not so much something that you lack when another person doesn't love you, but the fact that they are not ready for whatever reason to accept your gift. So don't blame yourself. 
just realize that sometimes it's just not meant to be between two people. Love them. Let it go. Move on. Learn to love yourself and know that you, too, are just as worthy of love as anybody else that walks this planet. December 25th, 1983. Who has left me here in tears? Yesterday was, but now it's over, and it's written down as past. There is no hope of its returning. Can nothing lovely last? Now what is there to ease the pain, and what can end this sorrow for all those dead and dying dreams who's stolen my tomorrow? Who's taken away the heart I held much dearer than my own, and who has left me here in tears, in the darkness and alone? September 6, 83. Are you free? Freedom. Are you free without me? Do you think you're free? There is no freedom love without me. You will one day see. What I have come to know is true. There is no freedom without you. Without your love, I cannot be free. How can you then love without me? Hi, Harry. You gonna help Mama? Harry wants to be on camera. That's Prince Harry, my kitty. Named so because he reminded me of Prince Harry. Of Angeland. October 11th, 83. Let me in too far apart. My king, my master, let me serve you. No, I love you. Let me in to touch your heart. No, I won't hurt you. I'll protect you. Let me in too far apart. And yet, I need you. Think you need me. Let me love you like I need to. No, I love you. Let me in to touch your heart. My king, dark master, let me, let me hold your heart. You know I love you. Let me in. Too far apart. What's up, Harry? What's up, Harry? Well, that's not the best angle there, Harry. Yeah. Want to smile for the camera? No? Harry's a little strange kitty. Ah, yes. Here's a good one. October 21st, 1983. I didn't really name this one. You could call it excess if you like. I eat and drink and smoke too much, all paths to my destruction. But I hate this world I live in. I hate all this corruption. For I can't live if I can't dream, and when beauty's grown so cold, where once her flame could warm my heart, I'm frozen to the soul. And though I'm just a child or seem, I fear I've lost my sight. Love has left me too much alone, and I cannot see the light. And I can't be strong any longer, and I can't go on alone. So betray, beat, or desert me, hack flesh off from the bone. But still my heart will beat for you, and I'll gaze when I can into your eyes. I'll still believe in eternity, too. Who's to say who's the most unwise? March 24th, 83. You have given to me more than I can repay, and words seem nothing much to give. But it's what I have to say that I hope will touch your heart and hopefully make you see that if you are not everything, you're more than that to me. You make me see the light in the darkest part of night, pull my soul from out the pits, rising it up higher. You save me from the fire, and I'm grateful that you care so much, as I too care for you. Love is strange, but has bound our hearts, so almost they are one, and left a friendship that's so bright its fire could melt the sun. I'm sentimental, and some say fool, but I hope you know what I mean when I say that you, my friend, have always been reigning queen wrote that for my best friend who always made me feel important no matter how heartbroken life might have made me November 23rd 1982 can't you see I love you don't ever forget we are always together though far apart nothing can ever come between us my heart is your own, your fortress home. Take strength from the love I send you. Then any heartbreak that threatens befall, my love will heal and mend you. Don't forget and please remember, your green-eyed girl from dark December, 
for never will my love forsake you. It will shield off what would break you. Take heed now and take my heart, love, for it stays with you, even though we're far apart. And be careful, for it's tender, and there's no return to sender. Now it's yours, and for all time it will be. Wish yours were mine. Will it ever be? Can't you see I love you? Fragments, December 10th, 1983. It's the hardest thing I'll ever do, letting go yet loving you, trying to get over, just carrying on. I can't, but I'll try, and I'll live on, I'll die, all alone. Second fragment. I can't hold on, I can't let go. I love you, but you don't care to know. And I'm so confused, don't know what to do. Do you realize that this is living hell, and torture is loving you? So it can seem when love's not returned. December 12, 1983. It's hard to explain, and I have no right to complain. It isn't your fault, but it is, in a way. Because I can say there's just no way I'll ever get over you. And I don't know why, but only on the inside. That's how I cry. And I'm dying, for I don't know what to do. And there's no way to connect. December 12th, 1983, why do I hunger? I'm hungry for your love and hungry for your touch, hungry for your beating heart, and I need it a little too much. But it's plain that you don't love me, and touch, you wouldn't dare. And you've told me that you have no heart, made it plain you do not care. Why then do I hunger for things you'll never give, loving gazes, tender kisses, without, I cannot live. For All the Pain, December 13th, 1983. My heart, I cannot love you less, though you may curse my name, and everything is such a mess, I know you're not to blame. Between us, things just fall apart, as they have always done. And though it's you who broke my heart, you're still the only one. And in parting, I still love you, though you've cut me and I've bled. It seems there's nothing left to do but for me to leave when all's been said. And you've said some very hurtful things, but what's this fool to do? For all the pain that loving you brings, I'm still in love with you. Greed, January 22nd, 1981. I am possessed, a demon. I am insane and crazed. I crave for wealth and power, leave ashes where I've gazed. My eyes are filled with fire. My heart burns as if hell, so black and full of hatred it has an evil smell. I am grotesque, unsightly, yet you will hold my hand, for I am sure disgusting, but live in every man. My name is Greed. Cold as a Tombstone, April 20, 1981. Death is a lingering shadow. Life is a flickering light. The dawn has gone down and it's evening. The shadows foretell of the night. A hand that's as cold as a tombstone clutches my heart in its grip. I face a ghoul with a hideous smile and a bluish white tinge of the lip. The terrified scream that fills me is stifled by a maniac's laugh. The laugh is my own and becomes a moan that rips soul and body in half. Okay, so I read a lot of Poe. Um, I was quite in love with Mr. Poe's poetry, and uh, anything that we read, I find that um, those things are often um, internalized, and we are um, influenced by them, whether it is conscious or unconscious. So there are lines in my poems that were influenced by songs that I heard and listened to quite often or poems that I read. Um, in the poem The Songbird that I shared earlier, the line where, uh, or I'll slip through your fingers more surely than sand, um, was influenced by Poe. And um, one of my favorite poems by him and maybe I'll share that a little later on. 
but um, quite a few of his poems are, are very deep and very heartfelt and, and really touched me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed chapter one, long as it was. Um, I have more poems I'll share later. Hope everyone's having a good day. Bye.